So the goal of the Young Eager Writers Association, which this channel is run by, is to try and help all of you build sustainable careers as young writers that will hopefully last for your entire lifetimes. Now, building a career as an author may not be as easy as it seems, and certainly getting ideas for your novels, your short stories, your poetry, your songs, or your screenplays, is it's not easy. I don't think anyone's going to sit here and tell you that they dream about bestseller novels each night. But it's important to have a creative process, a disciplined routine, and mindset to be able to try and find inspiration for ideas to input into your own storytelling. So as writers, we need stories to tell. We need ideas. So this is of uber importance. A few things to be super helpful and really culminating ideas in my mind and I hope they work for you too. So the first two are actually super fun and easy. One of them is just reading books. This doesn't have to be books necessarily in your favorite genre. This can be books that range from nonfiction to fiction to science fiction with galaxies, spaceships fighting, and it could also be, you know, a romance book about a young lover cheating on their spouse and running off to Miyakinos, Greece. That actually sounds pretty fun. Don't don't cheat on your spouses. Well, if you have spouses. If you're a young writer watching this video, I don't know how young you are, but be smart. Netflix is also a super helpful way to try and get inspiration for stories. I think that whether you are writing a novel, short story, poetry, or in the world of prose, or whether you're trying to write a screenplay for something that would hopefully be in the movies one day or TV show, it's super important to watch and analyze television. Not only will it help all of us as storytellers to just analyze the storytelling process on the big screen, really TV shows, especially I, I like Netflix, they have a lot of great stuff and they can really give us a lot of inspiration. And being able to watch shows and being able to take the best ideas from different stories and mold it into something that is your own is a skill that is super underrated. I think as authors, we're always trying to come up with a new idea that no one has ever thought of before. Frankly, I don't want to say it's impossible, but it's very improbable. Odds are whenever you get an idea that even feels fresh and new, exciting, like it's never been done before, odds are it has been done before. And that's okay. Really, the art of being a storyteller is not doing something new and groundbreaking, although I encourage that and want everyone to do this as well. Really, what the art of storytelling is, taking something that's vaguely familiar, like The Hunger Games, and adapting it into something new, adding new elements into it that really excites an audience. This is what will be able to get readers interested in your prose, but also viewers interested in your TV shows and agents interested and anyone, editors, publishers, people are interested in stuff that feels familiar, but also has a different character to it. I'll be creating a video later about creating authentic work, but to keep this on trying to get inspired to write novels, I find this next tip to be most helpful for me in trying to delve into the creative process. So one thing I find super helpful is trying to take time each day to just let story ideas marinate in my mind. This is a, literally a time when I, I let my mind one run, uh, I can't talk to that, run wild. So sometimes I'll just sit in my room, I'll have headphones on and notebook out and I'll just scribble the notes that come to me. Other times I will be out in the woods and I'll just take notes on my phone or anything that's there as I'm listening to a podcast or something to try and just spark thoughts. Other times I might be playing basketball, riding my bike. If you get the gist, this is all stuff I love to do. I love to be outdoors, I love nature. And when I'm in those spots, just taking a moment to breathe and exercise, I feel most comfortable. And that's when ideas come to me. I encourage all of you watching to really just do the activities that you feel most at home with. If that's reading a book, great. If that's cooking, that's awesome. Whatever makes you happy, those simple little things that you could do each day. Not only is it just great for your own mental wellness overall, but it's also great for getting inspiration for stories. Another thing is to remember that as storytellers, as important as it is to always be working on our craft of telling stories, it's even more important to experience them. As storytellers, we are nothing without a story to tell. And as much as we like to think that our minds are these creative little things that can just pick ideas up from random space and bring them up into reality, our brains don't work that way. We have a template, really things that we build off of in which all of our thoughts come from. And, and this whole memory bank, which our thoughts are based off of, comes from our experiences. So it's important when being a writer to really just get out in the world, talk to new people, go to new places, see new things, try and experience new things, get out of your comfort zone at any point you can, be open to hearing all different perspectives, even if they're crazy, even if you highly disagree with them. It's important to just understand the world around you and understand yourself. If you look at life with a storytelling lens and try and constantly 
look for new stories in your life and new stories in the world. You won't have to constantly be trying to find this inspiration and pressure from yourself. You can instead let the world around you tell the story. And in essence, you're just going to be giving your own perspective on all these things and mashing them in together into really the story that you need to tell. In this way, it's also important to remember to integrate your passions into your storytelling. If you like unicorns on spaceships in a far off galaxy, odds are someone else does too. A lot of writers recommend writing to market and that writing to market and giving the readers what they want is what's best. And to a certain extent, I agree with this. But if it's hard to figure out how you can write something that readers want, don't focus on that. Focus instead on how you write what you want and how you can take your own unique interests your own unique experiences and content that you've already consumed through various media and come up with your own beautiful story idea. Now, I, I know making this process sounds simple when it's not always so easy, but if you take the pressure off yourself and just let it life come to you, I promise it will be pretty easy. The art of being a storyteller is not forcing anything to come out, but putting your mind, your body, and your life, just giving them the right experiences and the right materials to really just produce a beautiful story. I kind of view it as kind of like photosynthesis. The plants kind of are made beautiful and the light hits the cells and then glucose happens. It's just kind of like magic, you know? I feel like stories are like that too. And forgive me if it's not the best analogy, but stories in my mind are exactly like that. We as the writer have to build a beautiful foundation, roots into the ground, that be our self-awareness with ourselves memory bank of experiences to build off of and as we stretch out this beautiful stem we're trying to build that we can then tell our story with and build these beautiful flowers that are going to represent our pieces of work this huge stem needs to be made up of branching out into this whole unknown world that we don't know about whether that be new content in books we consume on tv online or in books themselves or whether that be out in the world and the new people we meet new places we see and things that we do so i, I hope that with all of this, that this gives you a place to start in trying to find inspiration for your novels. And if there's anything I can help you, it's just trying to take the pressure off of you and just take a deep breath and relax and take 15 to 20 minutes a day. Kind of like writer meditation, artist meditation, just, just letting thoughts come to you as you breathe in and out. Hope this is helpful. Thank you all for watching and happy writing.